No, we're going to the valley now. So oh, now <laughs> we're going to the mountain top. <laughs> we're going to Jason's church. <laughs> it's gonna be a good service. It's Palm Sunday. It's gonna be good. Let me just show you the time on a Sunday morning. It's five minutes fast. So it's ten twenty two. Keep his black ass early for work. <laughs> and early for church. <laughs> <laughs> but we're on our way to church. I'm hoping that it will be enjoyable. However, I'm not feeling that great. So hopefully that will not alter my opinion of, of the service. Well, you already have an opinion of my church. But anyway, wish us luck. Today wasn't that bad. I didn't see too much of all around, you know. Church can be a great exercise moment for people. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it was, it was better than it was the first time I think that I was. Well, I'm there. glad you gave it a second try. This is a good, it's Palm Sunday. Yes, it is. So we wait a minute. This is the only problem I have. No, but I don't know. I like my church, but sometimes I do have a problem with church. Mm -hmm. and I, I don't know. You, you have your concern. Yeah. What are some of your concerns? Well, I mean... I think, let me just first off, because a lot of people I think have the wrong impression that I just am like this big old atheist or anything. But I just, I just, I'm, I don't <laughs> <Big> know. <old. laughs> no, but I just think sometimes for people with church, it, I don't know, it's just, it's to me sometimes it's for the people who don't really think too much. I'm sorry to say it like that. Like but, they don't have a high level of cognition. Well, you know, like, I think the people who you see that jump up and down and do all this stuff are people who during the week don't really take time to really think about their life. And sometimes church is such a forced atmosphere to me. Like, I think I was even saying to you, like, it's such an a artificial atmosphere in some way. Like, I, I believe some of the emotions are real. But it's yeah. like a pressure cooker. And it's like, you know, we kind of come, we know, we, you know, I'm certain people who, who perform kind of know they're going to have to do that tonight. You think? And it's like, okay, you go, not everybody, though. Because I think some people come in there and then, you know, maybe somebody starts talking about a topic, you know, that kind of hits home to them. And then it's like, oh, here we go, bring it up. My dad, Aunt Ethel, you know. <laughs> but, you know, like for a lot of people, I just think that, you know, if they took the time during the, their week to really analyze their life or stuff like that, you wouldn't really be, oh, you know. They wouldn't oh, go so crazy. Right, 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 right. I, I see your point. I guess my thing with that, like you were talking about the emotion and everything, I think emotion is good. Emotion is cool. It's a, a time and place for emotion. Right. And I think you should be, like, respectful of yourself as to not, like, fall out on the floor and start slobbering everywhere and everything. And what also makes me upset with, with some things about church is that people mix the Holy Spirit, which I believe in mm -hmm. heavily, they mix it with emotion. Okay. And it's not the same thing. Like, I always tell you, you know, the Holy Spirit isn't ignorant. It, it, it or he or she, whatever you want to call it, it's not going to make you roll around and slobber and you know, go crazy. Like, it's you, almost like, like church, I mean, I'm like um, school to me. And like, I remember when I was in school, we had this teacher, and it was so funny because like, if I used to talk a lot, believe it or not, <laughs> <laughs> in school. But like, I remember she was like, Robert Trapp, you're stealing everyone's education. And I kind of use it the same way as church. That's a good point. Because like, these people that are, you know, we all, like, they take my attention away from yes. anything that's being said or anything. And it's like, now everybody got focused and waves you down and waves you down. Right. You're stealing our God. Right. Like, really, well, you know, like, it's the same type of thing. Like the one that we have, the, the main one at my place of worship, who just goes crazy. Ultra Beast. <laughs> he just goes, like, nuts. Yeah. And he's so attention-seeking and just has to steal the spotlight. So everybody's, like, looking at him when, you know, we're trying to pay attention to something else. But he's going, like, real nuts, so you can't help but see him. But, it's you know, ridiculous. one of the worst things, too, to, sometimes to me I find in church is to give somebody a title. <laughs> because once you give them, like, this title, it's like now it's like I feel like I have to really perform for I you. I am that I am. Don't sit me up there because... You know, then I'm, I'm spotlighted. Right. So you got to see my dance skills, right. or my singing <laughs> skills, or my crying skills, or my rolling and tumbling. You now, know. Yeah, some people do that, or they want to run, see if they, you know, run track around the church. I, I hate that. I have to say, 
Please, please, please. Stationary. Yes, don't. <laughs> what are you running for? Cut it out. It's ridiculous. But like I said, I think it's just like an overwhelming... Well, first, some people are performing. Yeah. But for those that I think are real, it's like just an overwhelming emotion. Yeah. And it's, it's things that obviously, to me, haven't been tackled. <laughs> right. Well, because there's no need for you to do all that if you really tackle these emotions and these feelings. If you handle them properly. Right. Yeah, like that's... One thing that I just wanted to get into is the whole, uh, like, laying the hands thing and, mm -hmm. like, touching people and all that kind of stuff. I had to, um, I had a good talk with my friend, Dr. Harris. Okay. And, you know, sort of my, my spiritual counselor, leader, whatever. And, um... He, we were talking about when Jesus laid hands on people, when he touched people. Everybody that Jesus touched was healed. They, like, they got up, first of all. Nobody fell down. So, like, where did this come from in, in our culture that somebody lays hands on you and you, like, pass out and right, run back? Right, right, right. That, that's not, first of all, it's not biblical. Well, first, I think a lot of people falling back because they're getting punched. <laughs> you know, <laughs> they're getting so like, right. oh, wait, oh, like, wait, I'm supposed to be right. Now, yeah, you know, like, right. you want to show how powerful you are so you can put your hand on somebody. And if you think about, like, the, the people that Jesus touched, it's not like then they went and touched somebody and they got up. Right. It wasn't like a domino effect. Don't touch me. Unless you're Jesus. Don't, don't touch me. Not a Jesus. <laughs> a Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> don't touch me. <laughs> you're so silly. But um, I do think the church is good for people just in the same way too as um, like going to a psychiatrist and stuff. Like I said, mm -hmm. working out emotions and, and things like that. But like, I mean, and then again, I do separate church and then being like a Christian and go, you know, like, cause right. I, I don't think that just because you go to church or, sure. or just because you don't, right, mean sure. you one or the other. Right. It's just like separating religion and spirituality. Like, they're, they're two completely different things. One thing that I am so, I just so hate is the whole ritual. Like, I do feel a lot of times like churches are like kind of cultish. So I end up, sit down. Right, right, right. Turn here. Say turn this. Here. Say this. Come on, follow me. Do like this. Yeah. For the benediction. Do like this. Hold hands. Like, it's like, okay, can we just talk? Let's just talk. I'm going to start a church. BBE. <laughs> <laughs> After I finish seminary. Let's pass that offer back. <laughs> if you would like to donate to oh, no. well, This was Palm Sunday. Next Sunday is when we get to see the, the snake skin shoes and the leather pants. And I will be seeing my mattress. I hear you. I think I'm going to have bedside bath. You know if you're a woman and you're sitting in the pulpit, wear something long enough so that you don't need to have a handkerchief over your knees to try to tempt us. <clears throat> If you know you can't sing, don't nominate yourself for a solo. Your brothers and sisters will give you that solo and you'll sound a fucking mess. Please don't sing. You'll be the talk of the church. If you're the pastor's aide, only be the pastor's aide. Don't try to be the pastor's secret lover. If your pastor asks you to close your eyes and then he asks you a very personal question, the whole congregation, and he tells you everybody has their eyes closed, nobody will know if your hand is going up, Somebody is watching your ass. If I'm sending a text message in church, don't you be the nosy person next to me telling me to stop. You need to pay attention to what you need to pay attention to. If you're nodding off in church for the past half an hour, don't wake up and try to act like you still know what's going on, because you don't. If you're the person assigned to do the scripture or the prayer, don't try to turn it into a sermon. Let the preacher do that. If you're the child of the pastor, be prepared to be a hot mess growing up, because you will be. Parents who have babies, treat church like the movies. Silence your babies. Take them out of the sanctuary if they cry. Give the rest of us a break. Don't wear the church on Sunday with your nasty ass war on Saturday night. <laughs>